In this lesson, we will be continuing our exploration of the use of tetrachords, and in particular, how they are manipulated to create the scales that use flats. Once again, we will start with the all-natural note C major scale. This time, however, we will be isolating the lower tetrachord, and essentially doing the reverse of what we did to get the sharp scales. We are going to take the C major scale lower tetrachord, make it an upper tetrachord of a new scale, and, working backwards, build a lower tetrachord underneath it. In order to keep the scale centered on the staff, we will transpose our notes one octave higher. Because the intervallic structure is already correct, we can recalibrate the degrees and solfege. With the upper tetrachord complete, we can now fill in the blanks going backwards. The next note before C is B, the fourth degree. The note on the next space is A, the third. The note before A in the musical alphabet is G, the second degree, and the note before that, F, our one or do. Now, let's analyze our scale to make sure we have the correct order of tones and semitones. We need a tone between the first and second degree, and fortunately we have a tone between F and G, giving us a do re. Next, we need a tone between the second and third, and we do have a tone between G and A. So far, we have the correct do re mi. Continuing our analysis, we notice that here is where we get into trouble. Although we know that what the lower tetrachord needs between the third and fourth degree is a semitone, what we actually have between A and B is a whole tone. Also, we know that B and C are only a semitone apart. This pattern, as it is, will not give us a major scale. In order to make the sound between the third and the fourth degrees smaller, simply lower the B to B flat, which will be the correct sound for Fa, and will in turn open up the connecting interval between the tetrachords to a whole tone. This completes the correct upper and lower tetrachords of the F major scale. Remember this, take the lower tetrachord of one scale, make it the upper of another scale, and then lower the fourth degree. Let's put this into practice on the guitar fretboard. Starting with the fifth string C major scale, isolate the lower tetrachord. For the sake of convenience, we will transpose these notes to the fourth string, descending from the fifteenth fret. Looking at completing the scale, we notice two things. Firstly, that C and B are a semitone apart, and second, that the connecting interval between the upper and lower tetrachords is supposed to be a whole tone. This means we need to lower the fourth degree B to B flat. Next, we need a semitone A. Below that, a tone G, and below that, a tone F. This is the correct template of tone, tone, semitone, lower and upper tetrachords, as well as the connecting whole tone, producing here the F major scale. The first of seven scales that are all created following the same procedure, of taking the lower tetrachord of one scale, making it the upper tetrachord of another scale, and then lowering the fourth degree each time adding a flat until every single note in the scale is flat. Starting with the C major scale, all of the major scales that use flats are created by systematically stacking tetrachords, under tetrachords. 